from this group that says uh, we're, we're, we're coming. We're not there yet. Yeah, yeah, I think um, from this group so far, I think from out this whole summer, we're a group that's going to compete every night. Um, and that's something that you guys can expect is for, just for us to compete. I don't think we're going to back down from, from anybody. Um, everybody that we have right now has been an uh, everyday type of guy, just ready to go, ready to work, and just competing I mean, every day. So. Really Where does the leadership come from? And being a veteran guy of college basketball, how, how can you maybe become one of the leaders of this team? Yeah, uh, so far, like just being here uh, through the summer, uh, I've been trying to be more vocal, uh, you know, just being a veteran now, um, just trying to be more vocal and use my experiences that I had with like uh, Chase R.D. or Boo Boo from Northwestern uh, as they were our leaders. And just trying to th take certain things that I learned from them and then try to implement my own type of things uh, here. And, you know, just trying to uh, take over as one of the, the lead voices. Have you been able to find a voice with, with this yeah, program I, in the last couple weeks? I feel like I've found my voice um, pretty much. Whatever I say is, like, uh, backed by coaches and uh, everyone follows. So I think, I think that's a good sign um, so far. So. Julian, you're the first one to kind of dive into the pool when Mike got the job. Yeah. What what gave you the the confidence to take that leap of faith? Uh, just 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 from playing against him, uh, my two years playing against him, I just loved what he did, and I loved um, just just being on the court, and I could just hear his voice and the confidence he gave his guys, and the freedom he let his guys play with, and that was a big thing for me. And so once I uh, found out he was interested, um, it was almost like a I want to say a no-brainer, but it was almost like I had to uh, come check it out and see what he's about, and everything matched up. So it seemed like you had some injuries that held you back last year. How are you? I mean, how much of those are in the rearview mirror now, all the way? Uh, I, everything's in the rearview mirror now. Um, I'm fully uh, recovered. I was I was clear back in like late March. I was clear back in late March, so I'm pretty much clear from everything. Um, feeling good. Feeling 100 percent. Definitely getting stronger. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And what was the time in the transfer portal like for you? How many schools contacted you, and what was that process like? Yeah, it was a crazy process. You know, I was injured a lot, and I was sick uh, throughout the year. So I didn't really think I, I didn't really think I had enough, like I guess, like footage or film to be able to get contacted, really. So when I the, when I first entered the portal, it was I was very shocked. Uh, I heard from about maybe like 30, 32 schools on the first day. So it was just a blessing wow. and it was just exciting. A blessing um, just to see that how many people were reached out and you know, just how many people were interested in me.